Now, if you really want to get your body into shape, then you're going to need to do the body boot camp blast. Now, we've got eight rounds. Each round has got two exercises, and we're going to do 10 reps for each exercise four times through. Sounds difficult, but it's going to be worth it in the end, and I am going to give you a little break in between each round, just about 10 seconds. So we're going to start. First of all, we're going to do 10 high knees, and then we're going to do 10 oblique crunches. First to the left, then on the right, okay? So let's go straight away. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now take it straight down to the floor. We've got 10 side oblique crunches. Two three, four, ready, squeeze. We're gonna start with this side, then we're gonna go on to the other side, and we're gonna do it another time through. Okay, excellent job, let's bring it straight back up again. We're gonna do 10 high knees. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now back down onto the floor, but we're gonna change it the other side, okay? So 10, nice and squeeze. Now just think about someone punching you in the side. That's it, squeeze those oblique muscles. Now we're going to do it twice through, all over again, and then that means you've finished round one. Okay, let's go again. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten. Back down onto the ground, and let's bring it up to those, those side oblique crunches. Okay, it's good just to keep getting up and down. We're going to be burning loads of calories, and we're going to be really toning up our body, working our legs, abs, and our shoulders. Okay, excellent job, excellent start. Then swing it right back up again into those high knees. Two, three, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last time, back down, no rest. And let's squeeze. Great job, everyone. This is your first round. Now, to really make sure these are controlled, really squeeze those abs, those side oblique muscles. And your last one. Okay, you've got. It's probably like a 10 second break. So take some fluids on board. We're gonna go into 10 squat jumps and then 10 V-sit crunches, okay? Four times. Okay, so make sure when you're squat jumping, you put your booty out to the back and you just bend the knees, nice and relaxed. Last one, take it back down to the floor. And we do V-sit crunches for 10. Okay, now this exercise is really good for those top abs. We're going to keep sure our shoulders are up, keep those legs straight as we get out. Okay, jump back up again. Ten squat jumps. I know, you can feel your heart rate up already. And all this getting up and down off the floor, just going to burn extra calories and you're not even going to realise it. Okay, back down onto the floor. Your second set of the second round. Remember, 10 of everything. So you can just keep counting. Just think about it, it's just 10. Okay, last one. Jump up again. 10 squat jumps. How are you feeling? You feeling good? You're getting warm? I can start to feel the burn already in my thighs. And my quads. Bring it back down. And squeeze. So keep that shoulder up, look out in front of you. Okay, we've got one more after this. Excellent job, guys. Swing it back up again. Now give me 10 of those squat jumps. Just nice little jumps. Bend those knees. Come on, keep it going. You've got one more set of V-sit crunches. Bring it back down. And let's go. Squeeze those abs, come on. Don't give up. I want to see you working hard. Okay, you're gonna have a 10 second break right now. So, take on some water if you need to. Give your legs a bit of a stretch. We're gonna take it into 10 star jumps and then 10 star toe touches. So, working under the sea in round number three. Oh, and it rhymes, look at me. Okay, so 10 star jumps. That's it, now breathe. That's it, make sure you're getting all the oxygen to the muscles. Make sure you keep working it. Down to the ground. Okay, so as a star, coming up for 10. Remember, we've got four rounds. Well, I say four sets in each round. This is the best way to remember it. 
And this workout exercise, we're just gonna get loads of parts of our body moving. Gonna have a total body workout. So if you really wanna tone up everything, this is the one to do. Right, okay, give me 10 star jumps. Keep it going, everybody. You're on round three, and we've got eight. Bring it back down to the ground, and starfish. Now these are the times that you just have to really think about concentrating on engaging those abs. Now we wanna use those abs to bring our legs up and our arms, we don't wanna use the momentum. Okay, this is our third one. We've got one more set after this. So we're ready to go into those star jumps. Bring it right back up again. No rest, okay? You get your rest after this set. Excellent, guys. You did a fantastic job. So I want to see hard work. Bring it back down. Those starfishes. Oh, I can feel it. The burn is feeling good. I'm getting sweaty. My heart rate is up. But I feel good. Releasing all the endorphins, all the happy thoughts that exercise helps us do. That's it, keep going. Okay, one more set to go. 10 star jumps. Okay, after this one, I'm gonna give you your 10 second break. And you deserve it. So come down and starfish. Whew. You feeling the burn, guys? Are you getting your heart rate up? That's it, squeeze those legs. Squeeze those abs. Okay, two, one. Jump straight up again and take on some water. I'm gonna give you a 10 second break. I have some water myself because when I'm trying to talk to you, sometimes my mouth gets so dry I can't even speak. We don't want that to happen, do we? Okay, so now we have 10 booty kickers and then 10 squats, okay? So booty kickers, 10. That's it, just keep breathing and go into squats. Now this is gonna be nice and controlled, okay? We're gonna take this slow because we wanna make sure that we're getting as low as we can in the squats. And then as you come to the top, let's really think about squeezing those glutes. We're gonna get a good booty workout as well as working these front muscles here, the quads. Excellent job, guys. Remember what's next? Booty kickers, okay? So, round number two. Set number two of round three. Round four, I can't even count. Okay, let's go down into those squats. How's everyone feeling? This is your round number four. So you're already halfway through. See, it didn't feel that bad, did it? No, you're not giving up now. You've got to keep going all the way to the end. If you've made it halfway, then you may as well make it all the way. Okay, 10 booty kickers. Great job. Let's go back into those squats. Nice and wide and squat down. Whew. Feels good though, right? How's your body feeling? Can you feel the burn? Can you feel it in your quads? If you're not, then you've got to squat down lower. Get down lower. Whew. Okay, you've got one more set after this. Whew. Ready to go into those booty kickers? Let's go, 10. Whew. And ready to squat. Let's take it down nice and wide. Whew. Can you feel it? Tell me, Rebecca, I can feel the burn. I can feel it. I'm getting hot, I'm getting sweaty, and it feels good. Whew. And no one is giving up yet, okay? You've just got four more rounds after this. The next one, we're gonna be working out our shoulders, okay? Last squat. Now, come down to the ground. We've got 10 push-ups, and then we've got 10 alternating lunges. So, let's take a moment to breathe. Inhale, and exhale. Okay, so, let's put our arms out in front of us. Now, we can either do press-ups up here. We've got 10. Okay, or you can bring your knees down and then we're going to go into lunges, okay? And we've got to do these four times through. So working out those shoulders and those arms. Okay, bring it down to lunges, okay? 
We're going to go forwards with our lunges. We've got 10. Now make sure you're watching. I want you to have a look at your knee right now. Make sure that it's not going over your toe. Excellent job, guys. Ooh, you're on your round number five. You're getting a whole total body workout. But if you don't finish the whole routine, you're not going to get that whole body workout. OK, we're going to our second set of push-ups. So 10. Remember, if you do want to drop to your knees, you can. But I don't want you to drop onto your actual kneecaps, OK? You need to drop just in front. OK, do you remember what's next? OK, give me two more. Last one. Jump straight up. No rest, remember? We've got 10 alternating lunges. Now, some of these exercises we're going to do like nice and quickly to burn those calories. But ones like this, we're just going to take a nice, easy lunge. We're going to make sure that we're doing it correctly. We don't want that knee to go over the toe. Okay, we've already done two sets of round number five. So we've got two more to go. Let's take it down to those push ups again. Anytime you need to, drop down to your knees. I'm going to see if I can keep going for one more set and then I might have to drop to my knees, but I'm going to push myself. And you guys at home need to push yourselves too. Okay, keep it going. Come on, three, two, and one. Okay, I'm going to have to drop into my knees next time because I can see that my form is going. So just make sure you modify it to make sure you're doing each exercise correctly. Okay, this is your last round. After these lunges, Okay, let's go. Four, three, two, one more. Come on, last set. Let's take it down. Go onto your knees if you need to. Ten, nine. Excellent job, guys. Come on, keep it up. I want you to stay with me if you can. I know it hurts, but you just got to keep fighting through that pain barrier. Three, two, one. Okay, into those lunges. Taking it forward. Okay, give yourself just a moment to breathe while you're doing the lunges. Nice, slow and controlled. Using that core to bring you up. You're doing great, everybody. You're doing so good. We've just got three more rounds to go. And if you can fit this in, you know, just every day, once a week, you're done on that round and you really are going to see the improvements with your body. Oh, I'm going to take a little drink. Hmm. Okay, this one, we're going to do 10 little jumps to the side. We're going to do 10 lunges, little taps, but in a squat, okay? Four times through again. So one, two, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Nice and low in, low in a squat. We've just got 10. Side taps, nice and easy round. Just to bring us back down. Because we've got two more rounds to go. Okay, let's go. One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Low in the squat and touch. Two. How are you feeling? See, I'm giving you a little bit of a rest in this, in this round. Because you just gotta prepare yourselves for the last two rounds. Third set. Come on, swing those hips. Okay, tap it out to the side. That's it, just look out to the side too. It's going to help hold that balance. We've got one more set to go. Let's go. One, two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Low in the squat. You should be really feeling the burn in those quads. Come on, keep it going. Can you get lower? Can you get lower in that squat? Okay, give those legs a wiggle. Take on some more water if you need it. Okay. Now, next round, we're going to come down to the floor and we're going to sign a plank and we're going to touch each side, okay? We've got 10 of those and then we have 10 curtsy lunges. Okay, so just like a lunge, you're just going to step back, okay? You can use this with weights, but we're not going to use any weights in this one. Okay, so the rest is over. Hold that plank. And let's go. One, 
two. And remember again, we've got four of these. Now if you want to, you can drop on your knees. It's gonna make, you have to keep coming up each side. It's actually more difficult to just drop on your knees with this one. So let's see if we can really hold it here. If you're finding it difficult to twist, then just hold it up for the period of time it takes me to do 10. Okay, let's spring back up. And we're just gonna curtsy lunge, okay? So if you have weights in your hand, could we just stand in front like this? If you've got time to pick them up, you wanna use weights, then go ahead. But I like to do like a whole workout. We don't need any weights or any equipment, because it means you can do it from the comfort of your own home. Okay, ready to go into those planks? Set number two. One, two. Remember, if you can't twist, just hold it here until I say so. Okay, it sounds demanding, but I'm gonna get your body into shape. Come on, keep it going. Give me two more. Last one, okay, those of you holding it, you can relax. Jump up with us, go into curtsy lunges. Set number two. How are you feeling, guys? You feel you're getting a sweat on? Most important though, can you feel you're getting a workout? Whew. I know I'm getting a workout with this one. Give me one more. And let's go into that third set. Straight away. No rest. Up for 10. Nine. That's it, come on, pull those abs up. Don't drop them. Work in those obliques and our abs as we get to the center. Come on, give me two more. Those of you holding, now you can relax. Spring right back up again. Curtsy lunges. Whew. Just think of yourself like the queen. She does curtsy lunges like this. If it makes you feel better, you can float your arms. You can do the curtsy wave. Or if you want to be manly, give me those strong arms. Okay, last set. Come on, let's push it. 10. Come on, count down with me. You just got one more round after this. See, it goes pretty quickly. You don't even know that you're working out because we're changing the exercises all the time. Two more. No, I like, you finished. Okay, just give me those curtsy lunges. Remember, strong arms or dainty fairy queen arms. All the queens way. Either or. You can pretend that you're English for the day. Okay, come on, give me three more. Two, one, okay. Give your body a shake, take on some fluid. You've got one round to go. Whew. Okay, we're gonna come back down onto the side. We're gonna go up into a side plank and we're gonna bring our elbow to the knee. 10 of those, 10 skater hops on the other leg times two. And then you're done, okay? Are you ready? Let's go, hold it up here. So we've got one, two, three, Four. That's it. Hold your balance. Six, seven, eight, nine. Last one. Ten. Okay, swing it right back up again. I know I'm getting you up and down loads, but it's going to make you burn extra calories. And like I said earlier, you're not even going to realize you're burning those calories because I'm making you get up and down every single time. Okay, last one. Let's go on to that other side. Bring that arm up and just pull in. As you really squeeze those abs, make sure your foot is comfortable. That's it guys, squeeze, come on. You've just got two sets left after this. Nice and easy, come on. All the way through to the end. Last one, jump up, skater hops. Come on, let's go, 10, nine. Now this is the hardest workout, or at least the longest one on X hit. So if you've managed, so get through this one. You're gonna find, they're gonna be a doddle, okay? Let's go back onto this side. We're gonna have 10, okay? 10, nine. Come on, count with me. We've just got one more set after this. How quickly has that come around? You should be really feeling it in those glutes. Come on, let's go into those skater hops and one more. Let's bring it right back up, no break. Skater hops. As you get those arms nice in front of you, make sure you're keeping your form. 
all the way to the end. Just want to make sure that you keep on moving. Okay, last round. Holding it up. And let's go. Squeeze. Two, three. Excellent job, guys. Come on, this is your last set. Feeling it in those glutes. It's working. Squeeze. Don't give up now. You've just got 10 more skater hips to go. Let's go, come on, make it count. You want to finish the workout. You've got this far. Excellent job, guys. Come on, three, two, one. And relax. Oh, can you feel? You feel out of breath? Because I'm out of breath too. You managed to get through that one then. You really have given your whole body a great workout. So everyone give yourselves a pat on the back. High five. Okay guys, well if you still want to keep working out or maybe you want to have something ready for tomorrow, then check out X Hitch channel. Subscribe to the channel, it is free. You can tweet me at the model pilot or Facebook, Rebecca Louise Fitness. Thanks for working out with me today and make sure you visit us again soon.